Hello, this is Steve from Beatles Leatherworks. Today's project is these cool looking boots. These are lizard skin. Now this is the finished product, okay? Now unfortunately, I didn't videotape the process because um, literally I just started working and I didn't get a chance to videotape the whole thing. I videotaped stitching the uppers a little bit, but not the entire job. Now, this is what we removed. These are part of the boots. These are basically the vamps right here, this front piece. And this got replaced. We put new welts on, new full soles and heels, clean condition the uppers, this part right here, the shaft. So what I did was, I took lots of pictures. So we're going to do a little collage video tonight. I know it's not a full video, but at least I wanted to have this to share with you guys the process, what it looked like before, during, and after. I know there's no hammer time. That's okay. You know, we're just going to do some pictures. I'll talk through the, uh, the pictures and let you guys know what I'm doing. And then uh, basically, um, it'll give you an idea of what it looked like and what I did to the boots. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, the uppers are very well worn out, cracked. There was not much to bring them back. I cut the new lizard skin. I stretched it over a wooden form to just to kind of give it a generic shape. Because you can't, you, without a last, you can't really do this job like that. But you can try and uh, give it some sort of a shape. And I think it turned out pretty good. Now once, um, once the shape was semi um, to the old um, old pattern, uh, we went ahead and stitched the uppers, the vamp area, to the boot itself. Now this is my post machine. Post machine is basically, it's, um, it's about a nine inch rise from a flatbed sewn machine and where you can put bags and shoes and stuff like this. Now obviously it's easier to sew a job like this um, for without the actual bottom of the boot there or shoe. With that being there, there's, it's impossible to do this kind of a job. So um, this is about the best, uh, best machine to use for jobs like this. Now we use a very thin needle and also a thin thread to try to match as much as you could to the to the you know old uh, old stitching. Now it had two rows of stitches. Um, I'm not going to show you the second one because it's the same amount of same way that I stitched the first one, and um, and just to kind of copy exactly that was what was on there before. It's kind of nerve-wracking. You got to get it right on the edge of the stitch. Now these are basically when these are made, they use a flatbed sewing machine, which you kind of control that a little easier. But when it's completed like this, it's kind of difficult to get it exactly the same spot to where it was. I think it turned out good. Now you had a big problem with a big toe just basically putting a hole into the lining. So I filled that in, okay, and level the surface. And then after that I put a patch on top of it to protect that area. So you got to trim your toenail a little bit if you don't want your lining to be torn. Now this is uh, basically a rough, a rough draft of, of uh, gluing the footbed together and uh, stitching it in some areas to, to make sure that all the marks line up. Um, those marks basically I put those there before I took it apart. So once you put it back together, when you're restitching the welt back on, those black marks are your guidelines. You got to make sure that they're in the right place or else the boot's going to change the size. Now the welt's on there. We put new cork, shank, the heel rand. And this is a good comparison from the right and the left, what it looked like and what it looks like now. This is a rough trim of the sole that's put on. And um, the heel seat was just dry rotted. I replaced that with new leather. So it'll last for many years to come. Now the sole stitch, white stitches have a nice contrast. And the boot is done. Man, it turned out really nice. I like the white stitching. It pops with a dark background. I think the customer is going to be very happy. All 
All right, so well, thank you for joining me tonight. I know, I know, it was like a five-minute video. Hey, listen, it's better than nothing. I wanted to show you guys exactly what I did so that I give you a rough idea. I've got lots of projects in, in store, so slowly I'm getting to all of them, and I've got uh, pretty nice videos coming up. Now, we hit 50,000 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much. Um, I'm still just kind of getting used to this all this YouTube um lingo so you know just uh, just uh, keep on sharing make any comments you want and subscribe and hit that bell so next time I upload a video you'll get a notification saying that I've uploaded the video alright so any questions you have please email them to me at yahoo. if I get my email right bedos at yahoo.com well it's on the screen now even if I screw it up Please look at that and, and send the you know any emails that you have if you have any questions about the repairs and stuff like that. Okay, well again, thank you so much. I appreciate it, and um, we'll see you guys again on the next uh, video. Take care.